Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like looking for the best, most undervalued investment opportunities in the world, uh, I can put some ideas in front of you. You guys can choose whatever you want. And if that interests you, I would definitely click subscribe. Join our community, join myself and this ride up in the commodity bull market together. So I, I, I heard Chris Vermillion, um, he was on Kitgo saying that we're gonna have this pullback, uh, that there's a lot of fear in the market, uh, which then probably generates more fear. Uh, maybe he wants to buy some of your, some of your uranium shares. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but I'm not giving him my uranium shares. Uh, that's what I'm not doing. He's not gonna get mine. Uh, neither is Rick Rule or any of these other guys. They're not getting my shares. I'm, I'm holding on to mine. And if you guys really wanna watch things, um, watch yields, dollar, and and bonds watch those things because it's an indication of where money's flowing and what people think in the market and i've got some i got some charts pulled up here and i know you guys i saw a couple of comments uh they're asking should i sell should i go to cash should i do this I, i'm not you guys do what you need to do i can't give financial uh, advice or anything like that i can't do that i can give you education i can say um what i would do and what I would do is I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm not trading in and out. Uh, last time I wasn't very successful at doing that during the last bull market. And these things took off when I was out, out of them and I never got back in. Because uh, you, you keep thinking, well, dang, I, I, <laughs> you, you go into like this loop of, of asking yourself, well, I'll just wait until it pulls back to some point and it, and it goes up. 10, 20, 30%, and you're like, I don't want to buy it there. I'm, I'm going to wait for a pullback. And then it goes up another 10, 20, 30%. And it's like, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm in it. I've got very good buy points. I am not selling it, my shares to anybody. Now, I've got a bunch of random stuff that I pulled up. I'll give you my opinion. I'll show you what I'm seeing. And again, remember, statistical analysis is not 100% right. Uh, it is right on the overall kind of big trends. If you see gigantic, big, long-term pictures, like Bitcoin does look very toppy. That one, I would I would hold a lot more weight to. Uh, when you look at the big picture of uranium and some of these other companies uh, and sectors, they are very depressed. They are very low, and they look like they're just starting big, large uptrend moves. And I'm, I'm zoomed in when I did this analysis, and uh, I, I do not like trying to trade in and out of companies. It it has not ended. It, it, it doesn't work very well. And I try to time my buys as best we can. And, and you can tell that that's not 100% accurate. Nothing's going to be 100% accurate. Uh, but if you, it, what would scare me, this is what would make me scared. If you guys want to know, if I saw copper drop, I saw yields drop dramatically, and I saw people running into bonds, I would be like, something is going down. Uh, maybe I would put some of my companies into a free ride just to spare, you know, get some cash going, but I don't see any of that going on. And, I, and I'll show you some of it um, in this charts right now. So let me get out of here. This is the dollar here. <clears throat> so today we had a, the dollar move. It was up 0.36%, which is a pretty strong move. Uh, it means that people went into the dollar. Uh, they were running into the dollar and that may be the fear that Chris is seeing, and I'm sure that's what he's talking about. He even said that he went into the dollar. Now, I'm gonna look at just some random companies. I'm not gonna go into everything, but I'm just gonna go into some that he talked about and some that he didn't. Uh, this is Forum Energy Metals, and I, I just I'm randomly grabbed this, this chart. We got a nice big kind of resistance line right here, and yet you'll, what you'll see is a stair-stepping pattern. We came up, we were kind of going back and forth, and then we broke through it, and made a new higher level. We were going sideways, we pulled back a little bit, and then we broke to the upside of this kind of pattern here. Then we broke this pattern here, kind of pulled back, broke this pattern, came back up. Now, the one thing I want you to, to, to look at when you look at this chart, uh, we're in a strong uptrend. And if you look, we haven't had too many pullbacks where I would say they're earth shattering pullbacks. It's not like we went to, 27 cents and pulled all the way back down to 10 cents. I mean, that's like a, that's a, that's a very large pullback. Now we came up here, we're hitting our head on some resistance up here. It looks like 40 cents. We came up, hit it, hit it, 
hit it again, hit it again. And we keep, we pull back and then we're pulling right back up. We hit it again. Now, does this mean that we're just going to pull on back or is this thing going to break through? I don't necessarily have the answer for you right here. Um, but the pullbacks haven't been gigantic. Money is flowing into these sectors. So I'm not going to do anything. I, I mean, I own Forum Energy Metals. I know I don't talk a lot about it, but uh, I was still accumulating it. <laughs> and, and would I be a buyer? You know, would I buy it at, at, at 32 cents? I did. I bought it 32.50, right? Like in this area when it came back up, or maybe it's 33, somewhere in, in this area here. It's coming back up. I, I'm still cost averaging into these. I, I'm not afraid. I that, that's just me. Now, here's another company, Centennial Development. I'm, I know I'm, I'm taking a wide range of, of companies. This is an oil company with a little bit more debt. Pulled up, pulled back. And these pullbacks, this pullback's kind of in, ensuing. And right here, I would almost say that's like a the C correction, maybe. And we've got a nice big bullish engulfing here. We, we pulled up. We kind of pulled back. The up days are larger than the down days. That's a signature trait of an upward move. I don't see people trying to sell this thing off. We saw it right here. This is a bearish piercing. We pulled back up and I'd say, yeah, this is going to go back down. It came back down. This is our pullback in here. And then I start looking for the big up days and the small down days. This is kind of your A, B, C correction. We pulled on up. We we're coming sideways. And I think we're going to see, hopefully, a move higher soon. Hopefully. But uh, we had oil go up and we had a down day uh, in this company. So that's that's kind of weird. Uh, I saw it in SM Energy, saw it in Centennial Development. Maybe the overall market is selling stuff off even though oil went up. Uh, we do have this bullish engulfing here though. And the down days are small and tight. I, I, I don't see it going out of control yet. I don't. I, at least I don't see it yet for myself and, and my abilities to read charts. Uh, here's Camco. And, and I'm, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the large down days. I'm looking for things to get out of control, so to speak. Uh, and what I see here is I see a lot of large up days and then the small down day pullbacks. I don't see, I mean, there's a bearish engulfing here, a little bearish piercing, but still it maintains a, a bullish engulfing here. And we've got the small down days kind of muted. I don't see it yet. I think this has a good potential to break out to the upside uh, right here. It's still right there. So uh, I'm not, I would be looking for a breakout here. I wouldn't actually be looking for a, a downward move. And that's two people looking at the same chart. I see something different than he does. I, if anything, this is, this is one spot that, that I would be looking at. And I'll, I'll, I'll draw something on here real quick. Uh, I know it might be a little bit hard to see, but here's a line that, 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 that came across here. I'll make it a little bit thicker for everybody. So when I was looking at this chart and I paused because I didn't want to tell you guys something and get you afraid, but you could say, oh, this is a shoulder head shoulder broke out to the downside. We threw in a bullish engulfing pattern right here. And I said, ah, oh, this is going to go higher, I think, because it failed to really the sellers, if they were going to push this down. I would I would see a move somewhere in this region right here. And maybe I drew this in a little oops. I gotta get out of this mode, I guess. If if I were to to do this and I just put it like this, let's say that it was like that. And you were say, oh well, and you and you're looking at this, you'd say, well, this is a shoulder head shoulder. And everyone's like, oh yeah, that's a shoulder head shoulder with the bottoming reversed, and it's gonna should go, it, should, it could come down to $12 right here. You know, potential if you if you were to take this uh, size here and project it downward, you know, twelve fifty something, twelve dollars. But guess what happened? It came down here. We put a bullish engulfing in, and the buyers took this thing and and pushed it higher. I I mean, you could draw a line through here, and this was a breakout to the upside. I would say this is bullish, not bearish. That's that's what I see in this chart. I'm actually getting more bullish on uranium, not bearish. That that's just me. And I, you know what? I could be wrong. Um, actually, let's let's stay in this here. Here's uh, Vale. This is another company. You draw this line across. That broke to the upside, and this thing looks like it's moving on up with a with a bullish engulfing right here to potentially move higher, not lower. That's one company. Here's silver. 
I'm looking at silver. And yeah, we've got these big, large down days. These are funky, weird, out of the norm down days that this thing has. Uh, a lot of people call it manipulation days. I, I don't want to get involved in it. But if you kind of draw on the short term, this is a bullish engulfing here. It kind of came up. We have a lot of resistance in here. They could have, they, someone, I don't know, they sold this thing off, came back up, bullish engulfing, uh, bullish piercing kind of uh, right here with the wick on the bottom, came up, bullish engulfing, came up, nice big update, went up against this resistance up here, pulled on back a little bit. The up days are bigger than the down days. That's a signature trait of a higher move. We got a nice big update here, popped up above this uh, kind of resistance area and pull back, uh, and we're kind of sitting on this line right now, depending on how you draw it. I think this has every bit of a good of a chance of continuing either sideways or higher than it does going back. But we'll see. I mean, I, no one has a crystal ball. No one knows the future here. All we know is that these, that these sectors are all undervalued. Here's wheat and precious metals. Wheat and precious metals, you got this nice kind of resistance area in here. I just kind of threw this in, uh, came up, it's got a lot of resistance through here, a lot of buyers and sellers. Pulled back, all right? Big up days, small pullback. Big up days, small pullback. Big up days, small pullback. Bullish engulfing. I think this looks good to go to the upside. That's what I see on a, on a short-term basis. Uh, TLT, people aren't running to bonds. I don't see people running here. I don't see the, the fear maybe that he sees. Maybe he's looking at other things. Uh, and, and here is Goviax. Goviax looks fantastic to me. And you know what? I'd buy shares here. And you know what I did? I bought a little bit. I bought me. So I, I'm not afraid. I, I What I see is this, this move up. I see, see these big down day, all these big down days. So bearish engulfing, big down day. I'm like, okay, we're in a correction phase right now. Came down, correction phase, correction phase, broke the downtrend, big up day. And now we're kind of moving sideways. And I even said in my last video that we might see this thing move sideways and then potentially move on up. So I'm not, I'm, <laughs> when I see this and it gets people fearful, uh, don't, don't necessarily see the difference between me and maybe a lot of you guys is you're, you're depending on other people uh, to give you information. And then you have to make the, make a decision based off of the, decisions that they make if, if that makes sense so you're 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 using input from someone who's considered to be an expert uh and and you're making decisions based off of that expert's opinion uh it is an opinion now if you stick to what are the facts the facts are uranium is is drastically uh drastically undervalued we've got lots of demand coming up in front of us so fundamentally which is a fact um we are very strong we are under the cost curves. These are all facts. Now, I'm not afraid. I look at Goviac's uranium chart that's sitting right there behind me. This one right here. I, I see that as a positive. That looks strong to me. Uh, that does not look weak or bearish. And even if this sells off a little bit, even if this were to come to here and back test this line, uh, I'm a buyer. I'm not a seller here. That's just me. And I, I'm not afraid. A Bannerman looks good. Deep Yellow looks good. Uh, some of these other companies, they're not pulling back that much either. Uh, so they had their opportunity to pull back. And like in CCJ there, I drew that that neckline in them. And I'll, I'll revisit it. If you guys want to, I know you guys, when you get scared, um, here's CCJ. See it? You see that neckline right here? That neckline, it broke to the downside on this day right here. But the sellers didn't come in here and stomp on it. Why is that? Why is that? We are looking at all these charts for clues. And if you noticed, I got bullish here and I said, I think, you know, we got the bullish engulfing here. I think we're going to head higher. Now, if I throw, start throwing in lines here, or I'll just copy this one, throw it in like this. Do you see that, that break there? This is a break to the upside, not the downside. You see that that pattern that broke to the upside. I'm not afraid. I I don't know. Maybe maybe these maybe I remember Chris is friends with Rick and all these other guys. Maybe they're maybe they're fomoing. Maybe maybe they're they've got a fear of missing out and they don't want they want your shares. 
And you know what? I'm not giving them my shares. I'm actually buying more shares than some of these companies. And I bought some more today. Uh, I bought Goviax. And in my one account, it, the, the funds hadn't cleared yet. Uh, but I want to buy more of Deep Yellow. Uh, and and that, that's where I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm actually accumulating. I'm not, I'm not stopping, guys. So you do what you need to do. If you're afraid and you think that you need more cash, then do what's best for you. Do what you can sleep at night doing. Uh, I'm not buying it. I'm I'm going in there. Uh, CCJ looks strong to me. I, maybe maybe I'm crazy, uh, but the way that I'm reading the charts and I'm confident in the way that I read charts, uh, I, I'm I'm accumulating. So uh, he he can do what he what he wants. He can he can say whatever he wants and have his own own opinion. Uh, and obviously, this is my own opinion. Uh, I'm I'm accumulating and, and I'm not worried about it. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys need any help. Put it in the comment section. Let me know what you need. Uh, I'm here for you. Uh, just, just let me know. If you guys are afraid, let me know what you're afraid of. And maybe we can address it. Uh, and again, I don't no one has the crystal ball here that 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 can see into the future. You know, I don't have this thing here saying, yeah, tomorrow it's gonna be a 2.3% update in CCJ. I, I don't have that, and I don't think anyone does. Uh, but to me, with that chart pattern, the bears didn't the, dip, the bears didn't smash it. The bulls came in, put in a bullish engulfing on it, and broke to the upside. I don't know what he's looking at. So uh, we're all obviously looking at the same chart differently. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.